Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to another Witcher video. With the Witcher Season 2 Fast approaching in December, I wanted to get back into a little bit of Witcher lore and answer the age-old question, why are Witcher's eyes yellow or cat-like or whatever? And in the show, why do they turn black when Geralt takes a potion? And this is all due to what's called the Trial of the Grasses. So let's talk about the Witcher Trials, how Witchers are made, and why Geralt has those damn eyes. Also, before we get started, a quick reminder, I have a book out to the world now available called The Crimson Gods. We have a paperback, we have a hardcover, and it is out to the world now. Also have an audio book as well as an ebook if you're interested in that. So all those links will be in the description below. And a friendly reminder as well, if you've already read The Crimson Gods, please do me a huge favor and go leave a review on Amazon. An honest review, I'd really appreciate it. That really helps out getting the book pushed out to more people. And if you have time, you can also leave one on Goodreads as well. Also, if you're new here, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. We do cover The Witcher, we cover Game of Thrones stuff, and we will also be covering House of the Dragon. And we're going to start live streams back up very soon as well. We've already done a few on the House of the Dragon trailer, so that will be coming up next year, hopefully in April. And I really appreciate all you guys tuning in for the last few live streams, as well as uh, watching the trailer breakdown of House of the Dragon. We started to turn the channel around, and yesterday we just hit 77,000 subscribers again. So let's get back on the march to 100k. So anyway, let's jump right in. So one of the biggest questions about The Witcher, those that are new to The Witcher, including me when I got into The Witcher as well, was why in the hell are Witchers, and Geralt included, why are their eyes described as yellow or light or even cat-like? The short answer is this is due to the mutations that a Witcher goes through, well, a male human child goes through to becoming a Witcher, and one of those is called the Trial of the Grasses. So let's talk about The Witcher Trials, now there are other trials as well, other than the trial of the grasses that turn human boys into witchers if they survive, because most don't. And yes, they are literally changed essentially into a different species. They are no longer human because the trial of the grasses actually breaks down their body and rebuilt as a witcher, giving them superhuman strength, reflexes, healing ability, and immunity to disease as well as most people lose all their emotion. So yes, there are both physical and mental changes going through this process due to all these achemical concoctions that are pumped into their veins during these trials. And in most cases, most emotions are stripped away, but this is where Geralt stands out because he did not lose his emotion, although most people think he did. Now, the first trial is actually known as the choice. Now, essentially, this is the trial where witchers learn the witcher way of life. They learn how to use a sword, physical training. They learn herbalism, where to collect those herbs, etc. how to mix potions and blade oils. So essentially, it's the witcher boot camp. And then, of course, we have the famous trial of the grasses, which you probably heard of, but let's get into what that is and also how inhumane it is. So essentially a young male in this case is strapped to a table and the table is called Sad Albert. And nobody knows exactly why the table is called Sad Albert. There are theories out there that perhaps somebody named Albert who wanted to become a witcher had a terrible experience on the table. Maybe he died, maybe something went wrong, or maybe he was even the first to be strapped to this table to become a witcher. Didn't quite make it and they named the table Sad Albert. But again, that's just a theory. It's not really explained in the books why this table is called Sad Albert. But they are strapped to this table and given a number of concoctions, essentially a chemical ingredients known as the grasses. Now this of course is the trial that makes a human into a witcher, starts all those mutations, including those cat-like eyes that we are also familiar with. This also grants immunity to disease, faster reflexes, advanced healing. Now this also grants the ability for witchers to take these potions that we see that are extremely toxic and would kill an average human. And of course in season one, we did see Geralt pop some of these potions. These potions are all different depending on what kind of monster he's going to fight. And of course, in the season two trailer, which I broke down, and I'll leave that link in the description below, we see him pop one before he tells Siri to get the hell out, before he fights the Bruxa. Now, as far as the trial of the grasses go, I'll play a clip right now that you will see from the Witcher 3 video game. This is slightly different, but it is essentially the beginning of the trial of the grasses. It's the closest thing we have to know what this may look like. So this is from the Witcher 3 video game where a man named Uma was cursed, and he looks like this kind of weird, deformed baby-like thing. And the other witchers and Geralt as well as Jennifer determine that the only way to restore his appearance is to subject him to the trial of the grasses. So this gives us an idea of what this may look like as most boys, only three in 10, actually survive this trial. So the first part of this trial as described by Yennefer is to open up the body to change. So there are at least three achemical concoctions at the beginning of this trial at least because we don't see the full trial. These three concoctions are named Mother's Tears, Wild Ride Juice, and Speargrass Sap. Now this is where all the mutations would occur, 
and rebuild the former human body into a witcher. Now, of course, this is where the eye mutations would take place as well, giving a witcher's eyes the feline-like vertical slits, although they're not always described as yellow. As a matter of fact, in the book, sometimes Geralt's eyes are described as dark. This, of course, gives witchers the ability to see at night as their pupils adjust to the light, just like a cat's would. Now, these concoctions are made from various monster parts, including spinal fluid or poison glands, as well as herbs and grasses. So they're made from a bunch of nasty shit. Now, at this point in the timeline in the show, as well as the books, the trial of the grasses has been lost, and the remaining witchers do not want to bring it back because it's so damn inhumane. Now, there was one witcher that was so resilient to the trial of the grasses that he actually underwent more experimental trials they gave him more strength, and this is also why his hair is completely white, and of course his name is Geralt of Rivia. Now there have been others that went through these extra experimental trials, but Geralt was the only survivor. So with all that said, why do Geralt's eyes turn black when he drinks a potion? Now for the show at least, I think this is also a bit more of a visual cue that he has definitely taken a potion, but it seems to be that it's simply his pupils completely dilated, so much so that they take up the entire whites of his eyes, so his eyes are essentially taken in every single drop of light they can. Now of course these potions that you see him take in the show as well as the books, they give him even more heightened senses, heightened strength, etc. And it all depends on the potion he's taken, which all depends on the monster he's fighting. Anyway guys, that is why Geralt and other witchers have these yellow cat-like eyes and why they turn black in the show at least. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you looking forward to The Witcher Season 2? Now while I did enjoy Season 1, I think Season 2 will have a lot bigger of a budget, I'm sure, and I think the monsters will look a little bit better as well when we do see one. And hopefully we'll see him use more Witcher signs as well, which are basic magical signs he does with his hands. We saw a couple of those in Season 1, but I also have a video out explaining what the Witcher signs are and how they use them. So I'll leave that link in the description below. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon smokescreen producers. And of course, if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. You have no idea how much that helps us out. It lets YouTube know that we're still around in the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.